can you hear me yes you can you hear me so i finally bought a new usb microphone it's a c1u a usb studio condenser microphone I've been struggling with my voiceovers over the, over the past few videos and maybe I got this new microphone. I bought it for 8,000 Kenya shillings, somewhere in Nairobi's Butuli Avenue. The main unit is quite heavy actually. You can see the C1U with the metal grill at the top. This is the Behringer microphone and it's a directional microphone so to use this microphone you have to have the logo face you but before i continue with the bearing a c1 new microphone i'd like to introduce you to my previous microphone this is the yanmai microphone it's not a usb microphone it has a 3.5 millimeter jack i want to explain something to you why i've been struggling with this microphone you can see it's a 3.5 millimeter jack with the three pinouts one being for the microphone it was good in construction everything was nice except for one thing that you'll see in a minute it has a very good stand i think i bought this one for 2000 kenya shillings it took three weeks to come here The reason I've been struggling with the Yan my microphone is because of this port here on my laptop. This is my Lenovo laptop. And this laptop combines the audio out and microphone into one port. So I need four connectors on my jack in order to use this microphone. And to be honest, I never used this microphone in this way. To explain to you fully, this is the jack on my earphones. The earphones from the Techno Common CM. You see, it has all the four ports. Two are for the right and left speakers, and one is for the microphone. I've used this type of setup before, but it produced bad, bad, bad sounds. So, in order to solve this problem, I bought this other cable. This cable promises to split the audio and the microphone feed through my laptop. What I used to do is I insert the 4-pin jack into the port on my laptop and it will separate the audio and the microphone jacks. The red one was for the microphone and the green one, I would connect it to my headphones. Maybe after I do a voiceover, I will listen to it. These are my Panasonic headphones, which I used to connect to the green port. Each time I used this setup, it managed to disable the drivers on my headphone jack. So after using it, my headphone jack became useless. The C1 new microphone comes with a USB connector. The audio signal is sent from the microphone to the connector through this connection. At the same time, the computer uses the USB connection to supply the microphone with the necessary power. A connection is made using the included USB cable with the Type B connector. Inside the box, there is a CD which has the user manual as well as software for voice recording and a connector for your stand. Okay, now, so now I'm just reading from the user manual. Initial operation. Before you can use your C1U, connect it to a free USB port on your computer. For initial operation of your C1U, complete the following steps. Number one, power up your computer, which I already did. Number two, connect your C1U to a free USB port on your computer, which I did. Number three, Select the C1U as input source in your preferred audio software application. Your, your operating system automatically installs the required drivers, which is actually true. I just plugged it in and used it. Right now, this voiceover I'm just doing on the C1U. 
there is an adapter on your microphone that lets you mount it on the mic stands with either metric, Europe or Imperial gauge threads, North America. Basically the microphone in the stand adapter should stand upright and face the sound source at right angles. The angle of the microphone to the sound source influences the sound of the recording. Therefore, experiment with different positions until you achieve the desired sound. To this end, you can rotate the mic in the stand mount adapter by loosening the screw somewhat and tightening it again. But I don't have any stands, so I'm going to use my previous Yanmai stand. This mic is actually very big, so I think uh, like right now I'm using masking tape to secure it to this stand and it's working fine. I have no problems with it. There is an adapter on your microphone that lets you mount it on the mic stands with either metric, Europe or Imperial gauge threads, North America. Basically the microphone in the stand adapter should stand upright and face the sound source at right angles. The angle of the microphone to the sound source influences the sound of the recording. Therefore, experiment with different positions until you achieve the desired sound. To this end, you can rotate the mic in the stand mount adapter by loosening the screw somewhat and tightening it again. To place the microphone correctly, the bearing logo needs to face the sound source being recorded.